Y'all get ready? Yes, you get oh, ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I know a lot of you guys wanted me to talk about the whole Kendrick Lamar situation that happened earlier this week. I want to kind of fall back to see how everything played out. So if you guys do not know, Kendrick Lamar was in Alabama performing at the Hangout Festival, and basically he invited one of his white female fans to come up on stage and to help him rap this song called Mad City, okay? So the girl gets up there, she starts rapping, and of course she uses the word nigga. And then at that point, Kendrick Lamar stops the show. He ends up calling her out for this. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this small snippet, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Ready? What's your name? The lady. Make some noise for the lady right now. Wait for oh. You gotta bleep one single word no. though. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I do it? Yeah, you did it. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Should she stay up here, y'all? No, please keep me up here. I got you. I'll try. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So for what I'm hearing, this is a game that Kendrick Lamar does on his stage. Basically, he will invite an audience member up. And you're supposed to, you know, rap the song with him and not mess up any words. And if you're white, you're supposed to not say the N-word. Otherwise, you know, you're disqualified. And my thing is this, I don't find anything funny about the game. And Kendrick Lamar should practice what he preaches, okay? Now, you guys know I'm a fan of Kendrick Lamar. I've been a fan from day one. But I thought this entire situation was just stupid, hypocritical, and uncalled for. Whoopi Goldberg also agreed. She talked about this yesterday on The View. And funny enough, Ice Cube is now also speaking on the situation. And he's basically saying that if you don't want somebody to say the word, don't invite them on stage. I want you guys to watch both of these clips and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Oh, so was he right to call her out for dropping, uh, I'm not going to say the N-word, that's ridiculous. The word, and it's in the lyrics, Yeah. okay? It's written in the lyrics. She was singing his lyrics. Should he have called her out? on that. I don't think so. Do you think so? I, I don't think no. he should have because don't put it in if you don't want people to sing it. That's right. right. Yeah. That wrong? Uh, I don't know. You know, it's like, don't invite people on your stage if you don't want them singing your songs, you know. It's, that's basically what it is. You know, everybody know what the songs are. And, um, you know, I think it could have been avoided if the fans stand in their seats the artist, you still, you know, you stay on the stage and do your job. All right, so you guys just saw those clips. Now I will say this: I agree with Ice Cube in this instance. Right message, wrong fucking messenger. Okay. You guys know how I feel about Ice Cube and the whole situation. What I find funny is that this is the same man who is chastising Bill Maher for saying the N-word. And he was saying, that's our word. We own that word. You know what I'm saying? And you can't have that word. And I think after he received that backlash, now he's trying to be the cool Ice Cube and say, well, you know, uh, you just shouldn't bring them on stage if you don't want them saying it. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this flashback of me addressing the situation of Ice Cube addressing Bill Maher when he used the N-word. Word. Go ahead and check this out. You can use it as a weapon or you can use it as a tool. It's been used as a weapon against us by white people. And we're not going to let that happen again by nobody. When I hear my homie say it, it don't feel like venom. When I hear a white person say it, it feel like that knife stabbing me, even if they don't mean it. But I think this is a teachable moment, not just to you, but to the people that's watching right now. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm not, I'm okay. not, I'm but not I, I think to... the people watching right now are, are saying that point has been made. Not by me. Okay. In the lexicon, everybody talking. But that's our word now. That's our word now. And you can't have it back. I know they're trying to get it back. This guy, and I'm not talking about you, yeah, Bill. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not talking about you, Bill. 
Okay. But I'm talking about guys who cross the line every day because they got some black homies. They got some friends. They think it's cool. That damn video has a shit ton of dislikes, okay? So folks are not feeling what Ice Cube had to say. Well, most of the people who are not feeling it are white people. But I noticed one thing. I noticed a lot of black folks hailing Ice Cube as a hero and saying, you tell them white people they can't use our word and tell them how it is, Ice Cube. And Ice Cube is a real gangster. Now... Now, I'm not saying that he didn't have good intentions. I really feel like Ice Cube missed the mark on this one. And when you say that this word is okay, and it's okay for us to use it, we took the power away from that, that does not make any sense. Because the problem is the people who buy your music, the people who support hip hop, are mainly white people. They're mainly white kids. And white kids use this word so freely, and other kids too, not just white children. Asian kids, Mexican kids, they use this word freely, and these kids do not understand the pain and the subjugation behind this word. So to just dismiss it and say that I'm taking this word back and I'm using this word to empower black people, to me is silly and it's very, very disingenuous. All right, so you guys just saw that flashback. So like I said, I feel like in this instance, Ice Cube is just trying to get back in the good graces of white hip hop fans because his hypocrisy with what he was saying on the Bill Maher show does not match with what he's saying now, okay? Now, I've talked about this before. I did a whole live stream on this when people were asking me, you know, how come you didn't call out Takashi 6 9 for saying the N-word? And I basically told y'all, I don't give a fuck. I don't care anymore. I don't care who uses the N-word, why? Because hip hop made it cool. You guys put it in the American lexicon. You guys made it chic, you guys made it hip. So now that the toothpaste is out of the damn toothpaste bottle or jar, or whatever the hell I called it on my live stream, now that the toothpaste is out of the damn tube, you cannot put it back in, okay? You can't sit here and make money off of white people, Asians, and other races using and spewing the N-word and then getting mad and trying to say that they can't use it in your concerts. It's hypocritical. It's unrealistic. Unless you've never been to a club, everybody says the words to every single song, to every single lyric in a song, including the word nigga, okay? I feel like Kendrick Lamar was being very hypocritical. You can't sit there and perform in front of a damn near all white audience, want those white dollars, you know what I'm saying? You want the love from the white community because you want that crossover appeal. You make the music, you want the love, you know they're gonna memorize the lyrics, but then when it comes to that word, you say, hold up, you can't say that. No, that sounds crazy as hell. How about y'all stop putting the N words in y'all's music? This was a word that was used to basically, you know what I'm saying, degrade and demean black people, but somehow we supposedly twisted it around and made it, you know, a, a way to show love. But like I told you on previous videos, a lot of times when people use the word nigga, it's not necessarily to show love. It's usually to demean, to belittle, and to make fun of somebody, okay? I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this other flashback of me addressing the word nigga when it came to Takashi 6 9 Y'all go ahead and check this out. New York dropping n bombs, and guess what? It's a bunch of black folks around him. So, how can I? Who am I to get mad? His whole everybody in that video is black. I'm just some black chick on YouTube. If these people in the video who are with him, who are all black men, are not checking him, who the hell am I? Obviously, they're cool with the shit. You know, so that's the thing. I don't like the hypocrisy. And then again, were y'all mad at Cardi B? Remember when I called out Cardi B? Like, damn, this chick is racially ambiguous as hell. She's always saying the N-word. She's always taught my nigga this, nigga that. She only wants to say it when it's convenient for her, you know, to make her look more cool and more hip with black people. But then she really doesn't want to be, you know, seen as black either. You know what I mean? She makes sure to put her, her Latino heritage first. So when I brought that up, oh, you hating, you just mad, you jealous, you ugly, you this and that. But now I'm supposed to sit there and call out 6 9 but when I called out Cardi B, I was all types of wrongs. Nope, there's no hypocrisy over here. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. If y'all are cool with Cardi B saying the N-word because she has a drop of black in her, then damn it, be cool with his ass saying the N-word because you, you can't pick and choose who can say whatever. If Fat Joe can run around all, all day saying the N-word and y'all can say, well, Puerto Ricans have black in them, but let's not act like Fat Joe's phenotype is that of a typical, you know, black person, okay? If he can run around saying it and J-Lo can run around saying it, it is what it is. I I'm just over the whole N-word debate, personally. Let me see. Yep. 
Stereotypical J says, speak on it, T. I'm Puerto Rican, and that speak line was so true. Thank you so much, love. Thank you for backing me up on that. It's the truth. Other races do not use words like that as a way to pay homage or to show love. When, when Latinos call each other spick, they're doing it in a derogatory term, period. It's not a sign of affection. You know, so th that's the problem. It's like, y'all want, want my little ass to check him? No! He's a blood. He's not about to fucking come after me. <laughs> you know? Hey, thank you. And that's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even like saying the N-word. I'm just, you know, when I do say the N-word, I say it in, in the context that I'm talking. I'm just not going to be on um, video just saying, you know, nigga this, nigga. That, that's just, that doesn't even really come out my mouth like that. You know what I'm saying? So we took the power away so that way it hurts us less. And, and I don't believe that. I just feel like, you know, that was just some bullshit that NWA put out. You know, it, it didn't hurt us less. If anything, it desensitized it. You know what I'm saying? It made it desensitizing to other black people because, again, it's a lot easier to kill a nigga, but it's very hard to kill a brother. Nobody says I'm about to go out here and go ride on these brothers. I'm about to go shoot these brothers. I'm about to go, you know what I'm saying, jump these queens. But you will say you're about to go ride on these niggas. You, I'm about to go kill these niggas. That sounds a lot better than saying brother. So no, you didn't take the sting out of it at all. All right, so you guys just saw that powerful flashback, and it's the truth, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot easier to kill a nigga than it is to kill a brother, you know what I'm saying? So you got to look at it like this. Why are we so quick to use those type of words to address somebody? Because when you use words like that, it dehumanizes them. It makes them just another object. That's why it's so easy to kill another nigga as opposed to killing another brother or a king or a queen. I think for me personally, the word just needs to go away. But I understand people are going to say it. They're going to be free to say it. But it just comes off as stupid and hypocritical when you're saying that, you know, black folks can use the word. But then when it comes to other races, they're not supposed to use the word. You know what I mean? And what bothers me the most is that other races, they know not to use words like spick and chink and, and jap and all types of stuff like that. They don't use derogatory words as a terms of endearment for their own people, but then they have no problem using the word nigga because we've made it so cool. You know, me personally, I think the word needs to retire. I'm tired of this whole nigga word debate and who can and who can't use it. You know what I mean? And then the hypocrisy. One minute Ice Cube says it's our word and he don't want nobody to use it. Now you're saying that, you know, if you, if you invite them on stage, it is what it is. So like I said, it's a bunch of hypocrisy when it comes to this word. And I blame groups like NWA for bringing this word into the American lexicon, for making it cool, for making it hip and making it chic. And they made millions of dollars out for using that word and the degradation of their own people. But now everybody wants to get super philosophical and super conscious in 2018 and act like hip hop holds no blame in popularizing that word and making it where, you know, white kids feel so comfortable to say it. I mean, the crazy part is even when you listen to her in that video, she's not even realizing that she said anything wrong so that lets you know how easy it just comes off her lips she barely knew the damn lyrics to the song but she made sure to get the word nigga right you know what I'm saying? So that's how comfortable these other races of people have come with that word and there's no one to blame but ourselves okay ourselves we are the ones to blame for putting that word out there making it cool making it hip and making it part of the American lexicon once the toothpaste is out of the tube, you cannot put it back in. So good luck trying to check white folks and other races of people from using the N-word, okay? So anyways, that's my opinion on the entire situation. You can agree or disagree. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Kendrick Lamar getting upset at the white lady for using the N-word. And then how do you guys feel about what Ice Cube had to say about the situation and what Whoopi Goldberg had to say about the situation as well? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> hey you guys it's your girl t and i hope you really enjoyed that video if you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals definitely feel free to click my description box there's plenty of information in there please stay tuned for the next video talk to y'all later